Yes, and I'll do a brief introduction for Liz. She's leading off our pitches. She was voted most likely to be a superhero. After all, she is an alumni of a school where they refer to themselves as X-Men and X-Women and claims to have the powers to monitor and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Liz, good luck. I can see you, I can see your slides. Perfect, thanks so much, Matt and Kevin, I appreciate it. Hi everyone, Aerolytics is an emissions software company with a goal to enable lower carbon energy production. The latest IPCC report highlighted methane mitigation as a critical factor in slowing climate warming. Energy companies are facing rapidly increasing pressures to cut their methane emissions, which are 80 times more powerful at warming than carbon dioxide. It's time for industry to respond accordingly because this is a problem they can no longer afford not to address. In response, new regulations mean producers must now measure, reduce, and report emissions from thousands of facilities up to four times a year. But between increased compliance costs, the fact that producers have never before needed to measure their emissions in many cases, and mounting pressure from investors around ESG, producers need a solution. The cost of doing nothing is significant, including massive fines, mandatory shut-ins, and lost investment. To address these issues, we've developed Aerovis, a software platform that enables the digital transformation of energy sector emissions management. Now, there's no one silver bullet for emissions detection. Many technologies exist to measure methane, such as handheld sensors, drones, and satellites, like the one shown here. Producers are being inundated with sensor solutions, and it's difficult to know what is best for their unique situation. First, our proprietary emissions modeling feature evaluates hundreds of technologies to determine the best fit for a specific producer. Based on the company's unique assets and our technology agnostic approach, the simulation model determines an optimized field program tailored to meet a client's emission reduction objectives at the lowest cost. This is often saving producers up to 40% on their monitoring costs compared to default monitoring methods. These savings are on the magnitude of hundreds of thousands of dollars for a medium-sized producer. The IP powering this tool is protected by trade secret and is the only commercial methane simulation tool of its kind on the market currently. Next, once the field data is being collected by third parties and different sensor companies, Aerovis uniquely aggregates and analyzes it on a centralized platform, connecting the operations team with other teams such as regulatory. Aerovis delivers up-to-date analytics such as progress on internal emissions targets, reliably discloses emissions metrics, provides emissions forecasting to link everyday activities to longer-term company targets. Our platform is not restricted by the borders of regulatory jurisdictions and has been built with scalability in mind. One of our main competitors to date are in-house solutions like Microsoft Excel, which are error prone and not scalable. Our other competitors retroactively report on emissions for compliance purposes primarily, whereas Aerovis enables producers to take a proactive approach to emissions management by providing real-time updates and informing day-to-day decision-making. With over 1.3 wells, million wells and facilities across North America alone, emissions, ma emissions management is a global market opportunity. The 198 energy-related methane policies worldwide create a strong regulatory market driver for emissions data management. And this is growing, with the EPA planning to reinstate federal-wide methane regulations in the coming months. As of 2021, we've entered into our first software pilots, including one with Canadian major, Synovus Energy. We have closed our first round of financing earlier this year and have since grown our team to 13 employees. In spring 2020, we finalized our MVP. Come 2023, the focus will be on becoming a global trusted source for carbon emissions management and disclosure. And we'll be working to incorporate all scope one and two carbon emission sources into Aerovis. Aerovis is offered through a B2B SaaS business model with an average annual subscription for a medium-sized producer of around 150K. To date, we've received well over 500K in customer revenue as, as well as several hundred thousand in grants. And finally, who's behind it all? Our founding team formed out of Canada's largest academic emissions lab where we spent multiple years researching emissions across thousands of oil and gas facilities and collaborating with industry to understand their problems. We are well-recognized experts in the space and have published some of Canada's largest oil and gas emission studies. Our IP is founder-owned and exists outside of the university. Our upcoming objectives are to find U.S. industry contacts to help with market validation, 
customer discovery, and product research. We are pursuing two to three US pilot customers and strategic par partnerships to help with market penetration. We are specifically targeting progressive, medium to large upstream producers with a strong ESG culture and emission reduction objectives. We're also planning to raise additional financing in 2022 to support further US market entry. That's all. Thank you so much to Rice for this opportunity, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Liz. We'll now open it up for questions. You can either type it in the Q&A box or use the raise hand function, and I'll unmute you. We do have one in the Q&A box from Vincent. Aerolytics, are you connected to the PTAC effort out of Calgary on methane mitigation? Uh, yes, thanks for the question, Vincent. You can actually see the PTAC logo listed here at the bottom. So we do work uh, quite closely with them on a few different projects because they're quite involved in this space. Absolutely. Next question from Thomas Henry. Where do you see some of the barriers to getting pilots? Yeah, I think um, you know when you're talking about adopting a SaaS platform into an oil and gas company, there's it's not a quick process. There's internal security reviews. You need to understand how it might fit and integrate with existing systems like SAP, other software platforms. How does the data streamline between different, um, you know, from the field into a product like ours? Who are the users? There's tons of different considerations um, when adopting a new uh, product like that. So we're we've been working really hard to. Um, streamline that process, make the onboarding and training easy for our current pilot customers in Canada. And uh, we're really excited about the opportunity to get that going in the U.S. now. Another question. Do you have statistics on methane emissions from abandoned wells versus active wells? How do you deal with the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of abandoned wells? And how can you help? Yeah, that's a great question. So Really what we're aiming um, with our platform is more emissions coming from active sources. And because that's really where the regulatory landscape is driving this right now, both in Canada, but um, states specifically in the US and uh, soon to be federally mandated through the EPA as well. Um, there's requirements to directly measure your emissions through those active facilities. And so that's really where a lot of these sensor solutions are coming to play. Uh, with abandoned wells, there absolutely can still be fugitive, which is unintended emissions coming from those abandoned wells. However, the leaks are way, way smaller and it's, uh, it's, it's not quite uh, you know, regulated in the same way as the problem we're addressing with our current platform, which is more the larger fugitive invented sources with active wells. Very good. Another question, uh, John Jeffers asks, this is clearly a very timely business to be building. What is your moat to shield your business from emerging competitors? Great question. So we are an expertise-based startup. Um, as I mentioned, we formed out of one of Canada's largest academic uh, research groups. And so we really have a background in working closely with this data, understanding how all these different sensors can work together to make that optimized program. And it's just through that background. And um, you know, our lab has even worked to develop some of these solutions um, on, on the hardware side as well. And so I think that's part of our competitive advantage is um, our background in the more data science uniquely positioned around this methane opportunity. Um, our emissions model, as I mentioned, it's, it's one of the kind of our main competitors in that space are actually more on the academic side um, within universities right now. And so this is really the only kind of commercial methane tool of its type. And that's really been built based off of our background, working closely with this data and our kind of programming knowledge around that. Question from John Mossup. Hi guys, how deployable is your platform across different client facilities? Do you foresee any upstart costs? Great question. So we've made our platform um, applicable to a few different sectors. So primarily upstream, midstream and downstream sectors. We're talking to different companies across all those different um, kind of, you know, broad umbrella of oil and gas. Um, within a specific company, um, it's absolutely deployable across um, you know, the, the range of their assets. So whether that's 10 facilities to 1,000 facilities, um, that's the beautiful nature of a, a scalable SaaS product. Um, there's no kind of limitation to, to the coverage of data or facilities and wells that this platform would be managing the data from. And in terms of um, costs or um, you know, upfront costs like that, currently um, through the pilot phase, all of that onboarding and, and kind of working with a customer to get this adopted into the company, that's something that we're just working with closely and there's no um, extra fees or additional costs like that. We're just really interested in getting this platform out the door, working closely with producers, getting feedback on it, and that's our main objective at this point. All right, one last question from Raj Rapaka. Are platforms like Enablon 
your competitors? If not, who else is in the same space as you? Yeah, great question. So um, a couple in, in our competitive landscape, there's other software companies that might be more focused on reporting, um, for instance, and, and regulatory compliance reporting. That's a big sector of our competitive um, kind of landscape. And as I mentioned during my presentation, we're really focused on kind of moving away from that more re retroactive compliance value proposition to empowering producers with a more proactive day-to-day -day management of this. Um, so that's certainly one um, kind of key segment. Um, other companies um, like the DIY Excel, um, that's, that's also common because these are new regulations and new requirements. So companies are just looking for new solutions and it's, it's a really emerging kind of evolving space currently. So. Thank you attendees for using the Q&A function. Thank you, Liz. Um, if you didn't get your uh, question answered, please contact the respective teams using the Whova platform or follow up using the email provided.